Welcome everyone to our fourth edition of the Track and Field Fails Special. You are watching Portal Sports. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video before you leave. The following clip might be too graphic for some viewers. Although any gory bits have been blurred, viewer discretion is advised. Meet Margot Chevrier, the 24-year-old French pole vault champion. She was on her second attempt at clearing the height of 4.65 meters at the World Indoor Championships 2024 in Glasgow when the following unfolded. And a refusal from Chevrier and she's hurt her ankle. Her piercing screams of agony echoed through the Emirates Arena in Glasgow as Chevrier landed awkwardly on the mat fracturing her ankle to the extent that ruptured tissue and bone were visible. The atmosphere in the arena was tense with looks of concern on the faces of everyone. With a certain Laura Muir running in it. After 15 minutes of medical attention, Chevrier was carefully transported on a stretcher from the Emirates Arena. And their evening's competition more or less planned out. The, frankly, the competition should have been reaching its climax by now, but I would say we're halfway through it, if that. A day later, Margot Chevrier provided an update on her condition. In a hospital bed, a smile graced her face as her left leg was encased in a plaster cast. I could have returned from the World Indoor Championships with another medal, but instead, I come back from Glasgow with three screws in my foot, she wrote in her post in French. Detailing her injury as an open fracture accompanied by a dislocation of the talus, one of the ankle bones, Chevrier concluded her message with, See you in five months in Paris. Despite the severity of her injury, her competitive spirit remains unwavering. We wish her a speedy recovery and eagerly look forward to her performance at the Paris Olympics. Camera in eight down, they get underway this time. Barriers being hit, plenty of barriers. 31 year old sprinter, Yakub Al Yuha, a former Asian champion from Kuwait, falls and injures himself during the 60 meters hurdles race at the 2024 Astana indoor meet in Kazakhstan. Wild dip for the line, perhaps Milan Chekovic snuck it, but the momentum was certainly with the Chinese athlete to his right-hand side. Let's have a look at the replay. Another good run from Yevremov, the Kazakhstani. Have to let someone else sort that out. And Chokovic as well, clattering that first hurdle. As we can see, Al Yuha fall, clattering that first hurdle. We hope he has recovered by now. Falling down there. Let's hope he's going to be all right for the rest of the season. Now this is a different kind of fail. 20-year-old Arian Knighton of the USA, the 200 meters world championships bronze medalist from Budapest, had just won the 200 meters short track on his indoor debut with a new world lead time at an indoor meeting in the French city of Levon. Knighton looks at the man who arrives to hand him the world leading card and hugs him as though he recognizes him while the man tries to hide his face with his hand. The commentators had no idea what was going on. I'm not quite sure. What is happening there is a very emotional response from the gentleman holding the world lead uh, card, which will be passed to Knighton now. This season you might do a 400 meters, so that's the sort of training you'd be expecting a 200 meter runner to be doing at this point. So to run 20.2 you know, on those tight bends is really, really good. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on. Between. Oh, this is a replay. I think uh, the guy handing out the board there got in the way of Zango. It turned out that the gentleman holding the card walked across the runway strip and got in the way of an athlete who was in the middle of his triple jump run up. The athlete managed to avoid a collision and luckily no one was hurt. Knighton witnessed it all and hugged the gentleman holding the card, probably thinking that the incident might cost the gentleman his job, while the gentleman with the card covered his face, feeling remorseful for what he had just done. This occurred at the Italian Indoor Championships 2024. 
poco prima del passaggio del quarto ostacolo. Che di fatto gli ha... The athlete is 24-year-old Lorenzo Nidon, probably not the best pronunciation of his last name. The Italian 2023 heptathlon short track champion and the current decathlon champion. Guai abbastanza seria da quello che abbiamo visto, non abbiamo notizie dettagliate, ma l'abbiamo visto muoversi in stampelle sotto la nostra postazione. The following occurred at the Czech Indoor Gala 2024 in the Women's Mile Short Track Race. The athlete is 24-year-old Salome Afonso from Portugal. Afonso is an eight-time national and five-time national indoor champion. It seems she got pushed by one of the other athletes, probably not deliberately. There is always a lot of pushing and shoving around in the middle distance races, especially at the start when the athletes are huddled together. It's a lot like what happened to 32-year-old Adam Fogg from Great Britain at the recent World Indoor Championships in Glasgow. Fogg was tripped by one of the athletes in his 1500 meters qualifying heat. Although Fogg got up and managed to move into the third position in the race soon, he did not finish in the top three. He finished sixth and hence did not qualify for the finals. But his team made an appeal on how he was tripped, and the appeal was successful. Fogg was awarded a place in the final where he finished 14th, the last position in the race. 26-year-old Angelica Moser at the All-Star Perche Indoor Pole Vault meeting in France. Well, Moser over on the far side, then 483, first attempt. Oh, and we send out a few times. How about that? That's uh, that's her gymnastics coming in. Well, saved herself, and uh, well, that's just an... Although it looked rather harmless in the end, it could have resulted in a serious injury. Heat one of the women's 60 meters hurdles at the CMCM indoor meeting 2024 in Luxembourg. With Mary Baumgartner of Switzerland, Micah Chinalim, the Dutch woman, Yvonne Brisson of the USA, Sasha Alessandrini of France, Victoria Muller of Germany, and Emma Former of Denmark. The athlete to fall is 22-year-old Merit Baumgartner from Switzerland. This is the women's 60 meters final at the Tampere Indoor Meeting 2024 in Tampere, Finland. Sixteen-year-old Mia Ott from Estonia, who had won her qualifying heat and was one of the favorites to finish in the top three in the final, suffered an injury just before the finish line. The nature of her injury was unknown. Viisikymmentä metriä menee todella hyvin, mutta sitten pitelee takareittään 
Pöro on kisan ykkönen, Xoti kakkonen, Paluts kolmonen, kakkosen ja kolmosen aika molemmilla 7.46. Ja sitten Pirkitta Marjanen henkilökohtaisella ennätyksellään 7.47. Kalevan kisojen nelonen on myöskin Tampere Indoor Meetingin naisten 60 metrin Sileänä nelonen, viitonen Aino Pulkkinen. 22-year-old Maria Vicente from Spain was in the form of her life and one of the favorites to win the women's short track pentathlon event at the World Indoor Championships 2024 in Glasgow. She had won the first event, the women's 60 meters hurdles, and was in the lead. The following occurred during the second event, the women's pentathlon high jump. Vicente suffered an Achilles injury and had to exit the championships. You have to feel sorry for the Spaniard. She broke her own national record earlier this year. She was one of the favorites for a medal here. And I think, Hannah, that is going to signal the end of her aspirations for a medal in Glasgow. Oh, that, that's so hard to watch. Oh, brother, it's just awful. You can see here, it's her left foot. Was it? Yeah, left foot. It just, I, I, I'm not a physiotherapist, but I, I've been around athletics a long, long time, and that looks really serious for Vicente. It's, and people say when your Achilles goes like that, when it really, it's like someone's holding onto the back of your heel. You think it's weird at first, you think what's going on, and then it takes a while for that pain and the realization of what's gone on to to, re to come to the fore. You can see the Spanish team looking on, but Vicente certainly won't take any further part. Vicente posted an update on Instagram later that said in Spanish. It definitely wasn't what I was looking for, but I can promise I'll be back for it. This is 24-year-old Maria Roberta Gerka, a former Italian indoor pole vault champion at the Italian Indoor Championships 2024. Nessun under 20 al mondo aveva mai saltato 8.34. Maria Roberta Gerke intanto in pedana si decide la medaglia di bronzo. On her last attempt to clear 4.40 meters, Gurkha has a bit of an accident and breaks down in tears. She finished fourth in the competition. So that's it from us. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you later.